And Governor Yahya Bello of Kogi State has directed civil servants to grade level on grade level 12 and above in the state to resume work on May the 4th. Bello gave the directive on Friday in Lakoja in a message issued to commemorate this year's Workers' Day. The statement signed on his behalf by the state head of service, Deborah Ogumola, congratulated workers on this year's celebration, Lord India, resilience and commitment to duties. The governor urged residents to continue to adhere strictly to the protocols and other precautionary measures put in place to checkmate the rampaging COVID-19 disease by the Nigeria Center for Disease Control and Wealth Health Organization. Joining us live now via Skype is the Kogi State Commissioner for Information and Communication, Kingsley Fowl. Good morning, Honorable Commissioner. Good morning, Commissioner. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you clearly. Great. Uh, is Kogi State ready, as it were, to come back to work in the face of COVID-19? Yeah, we are, we are ready to come back to work. And, uh, you know, we are going to stagger it in line with um, uh, the procedure uh, recommended by the federal government. So we are staggering the resumption of our civil servants. Uh, immediately, the pandemic broke out. Uh, we asked our civil servants to be working from home, civil servants from uh, grade levels 1 to uh, 13 to be working from home. And uh, 14 to 16 uh, have been uh, coming to uh, work. But now we are staggering it, so we are saying uh, 12 uh, also should report to work. Uh, we would now uh, study the, uh, the, the impact and the effect and also monitor how we are uh, trying to flatten the curve of the spread of uh, the virus uh, before we now uh, make further announcements on the remaining civil servants. And that leads me to my next question, Honorable Commissioner. Are you concerned that even though your state is safe, so to stay, uh, so to say rather, Interstate, could, uh, interstate travel could potentially affect the state. What's your thought? We are technically locked down. That, 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 was, the, that was the very brilliant thought line uh, of the governor, His Excellency Al-Hadi Yahya we, we are on technical lockdown. If Nasarawa is locked down, Niger is locked down, FCT is locked down, Kwara is locked down, if you cannot pass through all the states, definitely you cannot come into the state. And we also have our heads... Uh, surveillance team in all the 239 wards uh, of the state uh, to monitor people coming into the state from uh, neighboring states. So we are, we are on top of the situation. It is because of the surveillance and the sensitization and the proactive measures and actions of the squadron committee against uh, the spread of, of the virus uh, that is helping us uh, not to have recorded a single confirmed case of COVID-19 in the state. Let's move away from COVID-19 slightly. And in the spirit of the Workers' Day celebration that, that, that was yesterday, let's look at, take a look at the workers in Kogi State. What's the situation with those whose salaries are being owed by the government as of today? As far as uh, we are concerned, uh, we are not owing salaries in the states. Uh, we embarked on a, a, very, uh, a very successful uh, staff verification exercise uh, when the government came on board in 2016, uh, it was hugely successful. And uh, as I speak uh, to you, we are, we are in discussions with labor uh, in view of the current realities uh, in the country uh, to see how uh, we are going to sort out the April salary. Uh, and that is the only one uh, we are discussing about. We have paid much salary in the state. So, uh, so to say, we are not owing workers' salary. So you confirm that apart from April, no single worker is being owed in the state? I can confirm that that workers um, on the on the employ of, of, of the state government are not being owed a single month's salary. All right. Thank you so very much, Honorable Commissioner. And do keep safe where you are. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And that's our news roundup of events at this hour. For more news updates, please follow us at Plus TV Africa on Facebook, on Twitter, and Instagram. And do remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is at Plus TV Africa. We'll be back later with more stories speaking the headlines. Join us again. I am Amaka Okoye saying please stay safe out there.